Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve April 2019 University Question Paper under the subject Operation Research. This is going to be the part 1 of our video series based on solving April 2019 paper. So let us see what was the very first question which were there in the paper and how to solve them. The very qu first question was question number 2A. A company produces two products A and B. X1 and X2 are the quantities manufactured of product A and B and the following are the objective function which are given. So they are given you max Z is equal to 8X1 plus 16X2 and then they are given you subject to constraint. And we have to solve them graphically. So first we have noted down the max Z subject to constraint the three equation that they have given us. Now x1 plus x2 is equal to 200 and x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 300. We need to find the coordinate for that. The second equation is directly given x2 is equal to 125. So for the first and the third uh, equation, we'll have to find the coordinates. So this is how you'll have to find the coordinates. <laughs> x1 plus 2, uh, x2 is equal to 200. So we'll write first x1 may 0. So if x1 may, if it is 0, x2 will become 200 and if x2 may is 0, it will become, x1 will become 200. So our first coordinates are 0, 200 and 200 comma 0. Similarly, in the second equation, we add 2x1 plus, oh, sorry, x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 300. So if we give x1 as 0, we'll get uh, x2 as 300 divided by 2, which comes to 150. And if x2 is 0, we will get our x1 as 300. Okay, so this and this. Now, once we have a maximum Z and the coordinates, we can start with the plotting part. This is how your graphical plotting should have looked. Okay, we took the first equation 0, 200 and 200, 0. So 0, 200, 200, 0. Next, 0, 150 and 300, 0 and we made a line and last one x2 is 125 so one straight you know perpendicular line comes there now since it is a maximization sum the coordinates have been marked in dark okay so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this becomes our feasible region okay now this is 0, 0, this was 0, 125 uh, this was straightforward 100, 100 but for this point Okay, we don't know what was the exact value, so we solved it simultaneously. So x1 plus 2x2 was 300 and x2 is 125. We substituted x2 as 125. Okay, so we got 300 comma minus 250, which is 50. So our coordinate is 50 comma 125. And this was 200 comma 0. Okay, so once you get that, last step we need to get the coordinates and substitute the value of their coordinates in our objective function. So our objective function is z is equal to 8x plus 16x2. We have our vertexes as 0, a, b, c and d. Okay, the coordinates are 0, 0, 0, 125, 50, 125, 100, 100 and 200, 0. We just substituted in the objective function. So 8 into 0 plus 16 into 0 is 0. 8 into 0 plus 16 into 125 is 2000. 8 into 50 plus 16 into 125 is 2400. 8 into 100 plus 16 into 100 is 2400. 8 into 200 plus 16 into 0 is 1600. Now the maximum value. The among the two, the max is 2400. So we'll write optimal profit as rupees 2400 at point B and C. Having coordinate 50, 125 or 100, comma. 100. So this was a sum which had multiple optimal solution. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve question number 2a, which was based on graphical method of LPP. Okay, now the next question um, to this was question number 2b. You are given the per unit cost of transportation of goods from three factories and four customers. The capacity is 50, 500, 300 and 200 and the customer needs a 180, 150, 350 and 320. 
desire demand and supply so the very first thing add up demand and supply so 500 plus 300 plus 200 000, 180 150 350 320 is again 1000 so it is a balanced problem they are giving you the table you are required to find the initial feasible solution using vogel approximation method and uh, that is nothing but vam method and also find the total cost so now we'll have to make a schedule uh, with the row penalty and column penalty this is how it should look okay so we have a table where we wrote it down customers there we have pqrs the supply and the demand and then we had row penalty 1 2 3 4 5 column penalty 1 2 3 4 5 the very first thing we start with row 1 uh, penalty 1 and column penalty 1 we take the difference of the two smallest cost so in this it was 10 and 12 so it came to 2 7 8 came to 1 6 7 came to 1 okay here 6 7 1 10 11 1 12 and 8 uh, 11 and 8 3 and 7 and 13 6 once you get the lowest value take the highest from the row penalty 6 was the highest from the 6 now check which is the lowest cost 7 was the lowest cost allocated okay supply was 200 demand was 320 so we took the entire supply of 200 so 320 minus 200 120 is still pending 200 became zero so the entire row is gone off okay that is entire row is cancelled again we follow the same step row penalty number two again from the two lowest values of the cost okay get the difference so it comes to 2 1 same way in column okay the third column is over so you can't take that so you'll have to take from a and b only so 7 and 12 is 5, 10 and 1, 11 is 1, 8 and tw uh, 12 is 4, 13, 14 is 1. The maximum value is 15. From that 15, the C is already done. So now from these two, which was the lowest value cost, 7 was the lowest. We allocate demand is 180, supply was 300 to be take 180. This whole row, uh, this whole column gets cancelled off because the entire thing is over. So now we only have P, R and S under row. So third row may again 10 and 12 the lowest is 2 uh, 11 and 8 3 so we wrote it on that and now from here we only have peak uh, uh, sorry q r and s so 1 4 and 1 lowest again the highest is 4 from that lowest was 8 okay now the demand uh, the supply was pending was only 120 and demand is 320 350 so we gave 120 here so this entire row is over now since the entire row is done, now we only have three allocations pending. Okay, and three places where the amounts are pending. So we just allocated directly 150, 230 and 120. Total of which comes to 500. All the other values gets cancelled off. So that's it. So now we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 allocation. So we need to get the value of M plus N minus 1 to check the rim condition. So M plus N minus 1. That is... 3 plus 5, uh, 3 plus 4, which is 7, 7 minus 1 is 6. Number of allocations is also equals to 6. So it is, there is, uh, the rim condition matches. There is no degeneracy. Okay, we can find total cost. So total cost is nothing but 150 into 10 plus 230 into 12 plus 120 into 13 plus 180 into 7 plus 120 into 8 plus 200 into 7. The total comes to 940 rupees. That's our total cost on this particular sum. Initial feasible solution. Uh, the total cost is 9400 under VAM method. Okay, so these were the two sums uh, that we solved from this paper. So in this video, we have, these are the only two sums that are there. Uh, the next uh, sums will be posted in the next videos. So I hope you all understood both these sums, very important and simple sum. Okay, so with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.